this video I want to talk about um, how to solve a first order ODE by uh, numerical methods and I'll just show you the simplest numerical method called the Euler method to uh, just give you an idea of the basic method more advanced methods basically just build on the Euler method so we have a differential equation dy dx equals some function of x and y, first order equation, and we have an initial condition y of x naught equals y naught. So how do we uh, solve this equation numerically? Numerically, f is specified so that we can evaluate dy dx as a number at any position x in any value y, and x naught is specified by a number, and y naught is specified by a number. So let's draw the graph. A numerical solution means that we obtain a graph of the function. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. So we find a graph of the function y equals y of x. So um, we have to start somewhere. That's the initial condition. So at the initial value of x naught, we know what the value of y is. Here we arbitrarily take x naught positive, and we arbitra arbitrarily take y naught positive, but both numbers could just as easily be negative. Okay. Um, that's the initial condition. So at this point we've used the initial condition, and now we need to use the differential equation. So the differential equation gives us dy dx at that point. That's equal to f of x naught y naught. What is dy dx? dy dx is the slope of the tangent line to the curve y equals y of x at the point x naught. So the solution curve could look something like this, right? But dy dx at x naught will give us the slope of the tangent line. So let me draw the tangent line. Let's say f of x naught y naught is positive. So that is the tangent line. So we know that the function y of x will follow along the tangent line at least for value of x only slightly larger than x naught. So we can march the solution to a value slightly larger than x naught, say to the value x naught plus delta x, along this tangent line. Okay. So that this value here will be our next value of y, right? This one is what we uh, call x1. This will be our next value of y, which we can call y1. And this line segment here will be an approximation to the solution of y equals y of x between uh, x equals x naught and x plus delta x. So what is y1? Well, x1 we see is x naught plus delta x. y1 is the value of y obtained by moving um, along the tangent line from x0, y0 to x1, y1. So y1 will be the initial value of y plus the slope is delta y over delta x times delta x gives us our delta y. Delta y over delta x, the slope is the uh, slope of the tangent line is f of x naught y naught times delta x. So this is delta x times f of x naught y naught. Okay? And that's Euler's method. So it tells you with the initial condition x naught y naught how you compute x1, y1. After that, it's all repeating iteration. So we iterate. So now the slope of the tangent line to the solution curve at the 
value x1 could have changed slightly if the function if, w if y of x is curving this way negative curvature then the slope could be slightly less so it could be something like this right the new slope of the tangent line so the value here is our x2 right and the solution then becomes this line segment okay and this value here becomes uh, y2 right and so on so that becomes our new initial condition we can then construct various line sections line segments and this would be our approximation to y equals y of x okay now the nice thing about Euler method is that um, as delta x goes to zero then our solution uh, goes to the solution of the differential equation so uh, y um, sub i goes to uh, y at the value of x this particular value of x right so you get convergence of the solution so that's all there is to the Euler method um, it shows you that if you start with an initial condition and a differential equation as long as nothing goes wrong with f meaning uh, say f doesn't go to infinity at some finite value of x then you can uh, find the unique solution to the differential equation plus the initial condition